Hello and welcome everyone to our For the King 2 playthrough. This is episode 6, chapter 2, The Primordial Oak. So last, last we left off, we were hanging around the town of Moog after just freeing it from the Goblin Siege. Um, also, we got the Moog quest done, finished up with the Reduced Chaos, and we found a Sanctum... And we found a goblin catapult over here that reduced chaos. So we're doing pretty well off. Um, alright. Uh, we're not quite where, le where we left off because of a, uh, a thing with save files. Um, so, like, we're just... The herbalist stopped here. Um, because we were, we were heading out this way and then I realized that... The, um, all of the quests, or not the quests, quests too, but the market, uh, refreshed, and I realized that I wanted to go back and purchase things at the market, so we're gonna go and do that. We have two main objectives here, um, we must find the Sanctuary Moon and find Crowley, so there are two other villages somewhere in the fog. So, we're probably going to have to take this road to get over to that one. And then Sanctuary Moon is way over here. So, whether we come back this way, or... Yeah, we're probably going to come up through this way here, along the road. Because road does give a movement bonus. Um, before that, though, I'm just going to bump into Moog here. And before that, we've got a little bit of items to swap over. Not gonna take too long. Estox goes to the farmer. Um, the knife goes to the alchemist, just in case uh, he needs a little bit of uh, physical damage. It's also speed-based, which he's actually really good at. Um, I and I had an idea of uh, to give him a buckler. A buckler would actually help him out a lot. Yeah, the buckler would help him out a lot because it would give him a like. Um, it would give him the guard ability, since he only actually uses one-handed weapons, like he's got wands, um, he can, if you wanted to, use this goblin blade, or the knife, which are both one-handed speed-based weapons, which he is very good at, mind you. Um, and then, it'll, yeah, it'll give him ability to taunt if needed. If absolutely necessary, he can taunt. Um, usually our farmer would be doing that. But it'll also guard um, the person behind him. So having two front lines like that, plus he actually has um, the elite flea or the smoke bomb flea skill, which will uh, which will allow him to flee from any combat tile. So it's fine if he's in the front line. Um, so I I just figured that's not a bad idea. Um, so I'm gonna eventually once I find a buckler, I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, this hobgoblin axe can go to the farmer, and uh, we can decide which weapon he's going to be using in a moment. Uh, Grimoire of Lightning, since it is two-handed, I'm going to give it to the herbalist, and the herbalist can go ahead and use that. Um, Alchemist Wand, I'm going to actually sell, because it's not needed. We've got everything we want and more from this fire wand here. Um, it just does everything better than the alchemist wand, so go ahead and sell that. We've got a lot of teleport and vision scrolls over here, actually. Interesting. Um, and perhaps a god's beard goes to the herbalist. Alright, uh, as for the herbalist, you have Grimoire of what, Lightning, Walking Stick. Walking Stick is pretty much never going to be useful unless we need the cure ability and we need it now. In that case, we can keep it on her, because it will be useful as a cure. Oh, maybe I should uh, grab the Grimoire of Lightning while we're here. I mean, just equip that one instead. It does do more damage. Okay, uh, she doesn't really have anything else to give. Goblin Armor, I think, is still a little bit better than the Witch Robe. Yeah, pretty much in every instance, I think. So, you know what, let's go ahead and give that to the Pathfinder, and uh, we'll get that sold. The Farmer, um, go ahead and equip the Goblet Axe. 
It's a one-handed axe that's actually better than the great hammer that you have right now. And you still have equal strength and equal vitality. Let's go equip that. And go ahead and equip the Queen's Heater as well. That'll give him plus 20% increase to his... Uh, uh, to his experience gain. He does also have the S-Dock, which is decent, but it's just not as good as the Hobgoblin Axe. Honestly, it's just a uh, it's just a straight upgrade. So I'll go ahead and actually give that to the Pathfinder. Give it back to the Pathfinder. Simple Great Hammer if he absolutely needs it, which th for the splash damage. I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep the Great Great Hammer and the Pitchfork on him for now. Pickpocket gloves is not going to be useful. Give it to the Pathfinder to sell. Okay, Pathfinder. What do you have? Uh, got some roots worth. That can go to probably the herbalist. Spice rum, also the herbalist. Probably. Uh, poison ring, that can be sold. So I guess we can head right into the town. Anything else that we need to give to someone else before we uh, move on? Cut purse gloves is uh, are better, but we actually have a five percent bonus on our alchemist. Okay, you know what? Maybe our pathfinder should just have a lot of crit chance instead of a lot of damage. That's that's an idea. Okay, alchemist. You have your fancy rough. You have old gloves. Go ahead and keep those gloves. And we'll get our herbalist, or I mean our pathfinder, uh, to instead take the fancy rough. No, I'll do that later. I don't even have anything to give her. Okay. She's fine with cut purse gloves. Sturdy gloves, let's give it over to the alchemist. No. Let's equip the sturdy gloves, sorry. Uh, give the cut purse gloves to the alchemist. Hag mittens over to the herbalist. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay, Pathfinder, Farmer, equip your boots. It's something. Um, Alchemist, go ahead, gra equip the Cut Purse Gloves. One less damage, but better crit chance and gold multiplier, so you're going to be the one to grab all the gold. And then uh, these old gloves can go back to the Pathfinder. She's got better gloves anyways. And the herbalist can go ahead and grab these hag mittens. They give magic damage, crit chance, XP multiplier. They'll be good for her. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. Because, uh, yeah, we're, we're fine now. Market. Sell the poison ring. Sell the S-Dock. Sell the cracked ring. Um, I'll keep the blunderbuss in case we need it. As well as the glaive in, ca in case we need the heavy. Sea spear, I can go ahead and sell. Alchemist wand, uh, sell. Forest skirt, we do have the ragged skirt, which. It's a plus six to speed. Mm, okay, plus four, or plus two resistance, same evasion, plus six to speed. I like the plus six to speed. Okay. I'll, I'll come back to that one. Witch robe, we can go ahead and sell. Pickpocket gloves, we've got two of them. Go ahead and sell them both. Old gloves, we can sell. Now, forest skirt or ragged skirt. Uh, HP regen, elite ambush. I'll keep them both in case we need to ambush, but I do like the speed.
I see. So that is why she has such high speed. Okay, I'll do that. Anything here? Uh, yes, we do have God's Beards that uh, we can buy, which always a good, uh, good idea to buy. Uh, I need to remember to pass on the gold, though. Farmer. Alchemist. And Herbalist all to the Pathfinder. Oh. There we go. Uh. You don't really have boots. You just have bare feet with ball wraps. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, uh, let's just exit out here. Sometimes it needs a moment to refresh. Gonna buy the Golden Root, gonna buy the Scholar's Work. Solid options. I could grab a Portal Scroll if we wanted to. Um, which is not a bad idea. I think I'll grab the Faded Pearls for our Herbalist. Uh, I guess that'll be it. We can find uh, we can find some good stuff in the next town. That's a fire one. Yeah. Okay. Pathfinder, go ahead and uh, pass over those faded pearls to the herbalist. She's gonna get an upgrade today from the rusty lucky ring, which she doesn't use anyways. Like not really. She doesn't need the luck. She can keep it on her, I suppose. Or pass it over to someone else. That'll be a little bit more lucky. Whichever, though, I'm uh, going to pass a... May as well buy a Spice Drum as well while we're here. Um, always good, solid options. Alright. Let's pass that on. And let's get out of here. Apologies for uh, the delay, though. Let's get right back into the game. Let's head to Crowley. Let's get onto this road and get moving. Uh, roadside Junction. I may have spent all of our money, so we do not have money in order to actually uh, purchase repairs. That might have been a little bit of an oversight. Uh, hopefully we can find something soon. Uh, like something that will give us gold, perhaps. Like the Goblin Trickster and Goblin Tra um, Scrapper over here? Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's go ahead and uh, get into a fight. It's a four-on-one. He's not going to do very well. But we've got some upgrades, which I am content about. Nice. Oh, right! Our Alchemist isn't cursed anymore. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, uh, throw. Wow, alright, that'll do it. Good, we got some, we got some bonuses. Uh, let's take this with the alchemist. He's gonna get an extra plus two. And bombs? Our path, our pathfinder doesn't have any. So I'm gonna give at least, uh, like one of each of the, like, physical damage bombs and the, um, uh, yeah, physical damage and magic damage bombs. I'm gonna give one of each to her just so that, uh, uh, since she is technically the best user of them. But, like, if she needs to just use a bomb. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's another learn cool. Uh, that could have been in a better place. It's not very far from the other one. Uh, essentially, though. If she does need to use a bomb, or if she needs to do like a bit of splash damage, or um, or she needs extra damage, she can use her secondary action to just fire the bomb. And uh, even though our alchemist has more secondary actions and can throw more bombs, just having an extra ability is always great. So what are we going for this time? Okay, what if we killed this Marauder and Sniper here? Yeah, let, let, let's go for that. We've got a little bit of um, splash damage that we can get onto the Goblin Sniper. Uh, 
Probably gonna hit him with a uh, nice lightning blast from the herbalist as well. Since she, or shock blast, I suppose it's called. Almost enough. Oh, that would have been so nice. That's such a shame that that missed. Yeah, we would have been able to take uh, both of those guys out of the fight. Gonna go ahead and uh, do this armor smash onto the Hobgoblin Marauder, and it's not gonna do well. Unfortunate. I was thinking that if we can clear that 7 armor, he'll be a lot easier to kill. Thankfully, these guys are missing so much of their stuff. Okay. Uh... All right, let's go ahead and use, uh, I could use Fiery Zap on them, but I'm just gonna use my column attacks. There we go, oh, he dodged. Uh, no. Uh, haha, -ha, he's a fool. Uh, thank you, Mr. Goblin Sniper. You made my decision a lot easier. Let's go ahead and uh, shock blast a lot of them. And it's not enough. He burned to death, though. And who goes next? You go next. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and try this again. Oh, right. The armor smash. I didn't realize it was also a heavy attack. That's why it's um, much less accuracy there. Death mark. That's awkward. Can you get? Yeah, there we go. Perfect, perfect blast there. Nice. All right, finish that off. Okay, that could have went a lot worse than it did. 52 gold, and we get another 8. Ooh, Splint Greaves. That is much better than the simple shoes that we just had lying around. So let's equip those. This armor now goes up to 12. Oh, Hobgoblin Gauntlets. Armor and attack damage. Okay, I like the strength vitality here. Uh, what about Pathfinder? Pathfinder could use them. Ooh. That is a lot of extra armor. For plus one strength, plus one vitality. You know what? I'll equip those. Uh, as for mace, uh, he can use the mace. It's not as good as what he has, but he can use it. Ooh, a treasure chest. <laughs> All right, it always gets me on the edge of my seat. It's like, is it a mimic? All right, go ahead, Alchemist, take the gold. Uh, more, more gauntlets. I guess everyone's getting uh, gauntlet arm uh, upgrades. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep the hobgoblin ones though. And poison bomb. Like I said, I'm gonna keep one of each on the pathfinder. As for damage reflection. Uh, clouded mirror, maybe, maybe, one armor, two damage reflection, I'll keep the, I'll keep the armor, armor's gonna be solid for him. Okay, uh, we do have enough money to get to the junction. I am going here, and I'm going to fight this eagle, and I'm going to get back there, and then I'm going to head right down the road. That's a lot of eagles. Five of them. Alright. 
Alright, we got Goblin Blade, Goblin Knife. Those are our other weapons. Just uh, go ahead and use a, I guess, a fiery zap on whichever one. Oh, nice dodge. Uh, let's call him attack these guys. Ah, a shame. Ow! Ah, that's that's not okay. That's more damage than I had expected. Please don't kill my alchemist. Thank you. Ouch. All right. Let's uh, let's get a shock blast in here. I'm tempted to use a scholar's word here to grab focus. Let's do that. I forgot she gained full focus. Okay, uh, so she'll be fine. I'm gonna move the farmer probably over by the alchemist. Um, I don't think he can get that far. Either way, I'll probably start blocking the Pathfinder. Uh, I definitely could have used a God's Beard there instead. Onto, uh, one of these people. Alright, that was a oversight. Either way, let's go ahead. I... I whiffed that so hard, and I forgot to use a single point of focus. Okay. This is a case where I am going to use the simple great hammer. Gonna equip it. For some reason the farmer does have an additional secondary action. Why that is, I'm not entirely sure right now. I'm just hoping this does well. That takes out one of them at least. Oh, I should have I should have taunted. That's the- that was the obvious option there. Okay, Alchemist. Um, please heal yourself. Yep. Please definitely heal yourself. Uh, which one goes next? That one over there? I can't exactly heal, uh, kill it immediately. I could possibly burn it though. Uh, I'm not sure if the burn will proc at the start of its turn. Yes, it will. Okay. Uh, I don't have a row attack on this uh, on this weapon, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip the blunderbuss then. Oh, wait. Are they in the right position? Yes, I can, I can do that. And then I'll blast here. Get rid of those two guys. All right. Um. I'm going to skip turn here. Don't please don't call me crazy. I want to move over to the Pathfinder and get a nice party heal up before uh, we exit combat. And, uh, I'll equip the, the heater, and I'll, uh, you know what, I'll just taunt. And it fails. That's alright. Let's get some damage on there. Go ahead and reload, and... Pathfinder? Oh, you're using a shield. Is it a buckler? It is a buckler. Maybe. Oh, do I... okay. That that that's a good question now. If I should use the alchemist as a frontline or the pathfinder, I'll have to make that decision in a bit. For now, I'm just going to evade up, and it's gonna fail. All right, herbalist will take a little bit of damage. That's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead 
Use a party heal. Heal everyone up. Okay. That's better. No, no, we, we can finish it off. Uh, I said, uh... Okay, punch him. He just punched him. That's great. Uh, I need to remember to equip a weapon on him. Okay, let's take the money. Hermit Grass. Go ahead, you can take one, Herbalist. Eggsbane. Let's give that to the farmer. He can pass it on to someone else if he needs. Oh, lockpicks. Does everyone have lockpicks here? That's a lot of lockpicks. Uh, some more gold. Some splint mail. That's solid. I was looking at splint mail in the shop earlier. And uh, I'm definitely going to grab this for our farmer here. Goblin armor versus ragged skirt. Huh, that's a different type of goblin armor. Interesting. Alright. I'll equip the goblin armor on her. Spyglass is definitely better than the cracked spyglass by a little bit. It's ambush immunity. Imp wand. Uh, sure. Sure. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, what did I have? Okay. Right. You need to equip your weapon. Please equip your weapon. Let's see. Chop is decent. Armor smash, six extra damage, and it does armor down with a minus 15% accuracy. I think he's just been getting pretty unlucky on that one. Uh, he's got a total of 19 armor, though. I'm feeling much better about that one. Okay. Oh, wait. Why don't you have gloves? Oh, no, he, he doesn't have an offhand. Okay, Pathfinder. Uh, you've got your sturdy buckler. I'm going to request... Should I... Okay, I'll, I'll keep her with a buckler. She also needs to switch her weapon, though. Let's grab the blade ring again. If I find another buckler, I'll give it for sure to the alchemist. Oh. Really? There's a tiny little island there? How am I supposed to get there, huh? It's entirely landlocked. My, my, my land boat can't go on water. That's bizarre. Never seen... Never seen that. Well, in this game, there aren't any actual ships, right? So we can't actually sail there. I thought that was interesting. Okay, I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna go repair the ship. Or the land boat. Uh, and services, please repair. Okay. And let's head back down the road. It took a little bit of time. Quite a bit of time. Uh, but we've got some extra money. We've got some extra XP. XP is always good. Pathfinder and Alchemist, as well as the Farmer. They're uh, nearing level up territory now. And it's raining. Oh, oh, joy. Okay, we don't want to go down that path. That path's going to lead us back. So we want to go over here. Because this is where we're probably going to find the uh, next town. And we will take every single possible fight that we can take along the way. 
I'm going to take a peek at this armor merchant. It just popped up. Tight shield. Let's see. Sturdy gloves. Okay, nothing worth going out of our way for. They don't even have a uh, buckler. If they had a buckler, I would have went there in a moment, in, in an instant. All right, let's grab a fight with this butcher. Uh, I wonder what a blood column does. Well, I guess I know what it does, but I'm gonna try it. Oh. Really? It doesn't... It did exactly 10 damage, so it didn't do any damage to him at all, so it did not apply a bleed. Okay, that, that, that was not ideal. Okay, let's apply the fire. And let's go ahead and hit him with a shock blast. It doesn't apply the shock. Still does decent damage. If we can do any damage with our farmer, he's good and done. There we are. And we're gonna level up from the Pathfinder. Nice. Uh, take gold with the alchemist. Hello? Traveling hat? Oh, right, we have our disciple hood here. Party resistance, evasion, focus, movement distance, find distance. That's a lot of fine distance on her, actually. I am going to go ahead and uh, keep the Disciple Hood. Thank you. It's one awareness, which is 1% accuracy bonus, but... Yeah, look at that find distance. She just found... Or she's, she's finding things that are, uh, like, f three or four tiles away. Oh, night market. Maybe we should uh, take a peek in here. Uh, ooh, salty jawbreaker for permanent increase to armor. Faded pearls, rusty chain, herbarium, crystal mace, some bombs, focusing hat. Witch hat. Which boots? Okay, Goblin Wraps versus Witch Boots. Uh, Witch Boots is much better. Gives her the plus two to intelligence that she wants. And Witch Hat is all another plus two to intelligence, and she doesn't have a hat right now. Okay, time to get uh, some upgrades for Herbalist, I think. Of course, there is the Focusing Hat, which is bonus to magic damage. And our Alchemist doesn't have a hat either. Alright. How much money do we have? Not enough for everything. Okay, let's buy the witch hat. Let's buy the focusing hat. That looks really funny on him. It doesn't show right here. There we go. Um, and we didn't have enough for the witch boots. Which, it's fine. Unless we have things to sell. That goes to the Herbalist. Imp Wand? Sure, let's sell that. Uh, that's 10. We've got Farmer. What do you have? Mace? I guess I can give that away. Clouded Mirror. I, I, I should have some things to sell. Beastman Arm Boards. Splint Gauntlet. Simple shoes. Okay, yeah, that's 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 plenty of things to sell actually. 
Pathfinder, Cracked Spyglass, Rusty Lucky Ring, uh, Bomb, Poison Bomb, Blunderbuss, Clave, Traveling Hat, and the ragged skirt. Okay, lots of things to sell. All right. Bog armor. Wow, that was actually quite a bit. And ragged skirt as well. Good prices here, actually. Okay, so we definitely can grab those witch boots then. And anything else? Faded pearls versus fancy rough. Wait, focusing hat? Dude, it gives plus two focus as well, huh? Alright. Uh, Faded Pearls does give him a, another bonus to magic damage. Let's go ahead and uh, buy and equip that, maybe? And in that case, now that he's got a good hat, or got a good um, trinket, I think I'm going to swap out the Pathfinder's uh, Spyglass. Okay, so let's unequip those. Cut purse gloves can go instead to the Pathfinder. Pathfinder, go ahead and equip those. Sturdy gloves can go to the Alchemist. Spyglass, unequip. And. Okay, fancy rough there. Sturdy gloves, equip. And there we go. So now she's got the gold multiplier. And there's another, uh, there's another port. We do have a decent amount of, um, a decent amount of uh, HP. Oh. All right. Uh, Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin Marauder Camp. That's a lot of focus on that alchemist. Oh, I forgot to give uh, some of the stuff to the herbalist. Seven HP across the board. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, I could do a throw, but I want to do a column attack on these guys. There we go. Not much damage to the Marauder, but it is what it is. Let's... Yeah, let's, let's fire on him. And... Shockstorm? That sounds fun. Let's try that. Uh, nope. I think he still dies from, uh... Yeah, I think he still dies from the fire, though. There we go. Oh, nice dodge. That was a... Is that supposed to be a bleed strike, I think? Uh, oh, wonderful. Confusion. All right, let's uh, swap over over to the blunderbuss, and let's uh, go ahead and blast. And it missed. Okay. Okay, we can deal with that. Okay, good. Good hit. And then shock blast onto. Oh, he's confused now. Shock blast onto the sniper. Did the, it doesn't didn't do enough damage to the trickster. I forgot that he's got the five resistance. 
Okay. Tough move. Do I go Trickster? Or do I go Marauder? I'm gonna go Marauder. It does kill. Okay. Oh, and uh, hello, Scarecrow. Are you gonna target the Scarecrow? No, you're just gonna target me with another bomb. Alright. Let's go ahead, reload, and blast this guy. Alchemist leveled up. Oh, and Pathfinder's now going to be taking all the all the gold because she's got the gold multiplier. Smoke bomb. Uh, interrupt. Okay. Go ahead, Alchemist. And another chest. Is it a mimic this time? We're okay. We're okay. And gold, take the Pathfinder, Lesser Fire Wand, we've got one of those already, and they're identical. Cool. Smoke Bomb, go ahead, Pathfinder. Traveling Gear. Now. Is that better? Awareness? Elite Sneak? I think you already have that skill. For 5 Evasion, though... Giving up six, er, six speed for two awareness. That's that's tough. You guys, you guys really making me make all these tough decisions. I'll go ahead and equip it because it is her main stat. Healing staff. I will take with the herbalist. Okay. Go ahead onto the road. We're back into the foothills. And we're probably well on our way to finding Crowley here. Ah, another stone hero. I'm gonna take it on take it on the way back. What is that? Ah, there's Crowley. Hello. Alright, so we have found Crowley, and that's where we're going to end the stream for today. Um, yeah, that, that's that's well, where we'll end it. Anyways, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, yeah, we, we had a lot of party management stuff to do today, um, but we've got a bunch of upgrades now. Um, we'd like to find the Pathfinder some better weapons eventually. Um, she does have her, um, blade ring. I'd love to find more of the, uh, Chakram style weapons. They're pretty cool. Thank you, thank you all for joining us. Remember that, uh, we do stream, t this is going out Monday, um, it's going out, uh, so we do stream, uh, on, uh, tonight, Monday at 8pm. Um, come check it out. I need to double check whether we're playing Conan or For the King 2, but uh, either way, we will be playing plenty this week for the King 2, and uh, yeah, so we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central Di or Central Standard Time. So uh, come out and come check us out. Looking forward to having you there, and uh, until next time, everyone have a wonderful day. <laughs>